A welcome to the land of the living. This is a bit different now, but um, this is the trailer for The Mandalorian, which was released pretty recently. You, <laughs> I'm, uh, I've done it uh, actually not too long after it was released, which is a change. August 24th, um, The Mandalorian official trailer, which will be streaming on Disney Plus on November 12th. And if you didn't know, Disney are making their own streaming platform like Netflix or Amazon, that sort of thing, but for their own their own products, their own creations or stuff that they bought, <clears throat> such as Star Wars. So I'm not sure how popular that will be, but I think they are removing their property from other streaming sites which makes sense if they're making their own. But how many will, um, you know, it's just another subscription that people feel the need to get now. But that's the way the world is in the century. Let's just read the description. After the stories of Django and Boba Fett, Django and Boba Fett were Mandalorians. They have their signature look, you know, the they're uh, sort of armoured looking, um, you know, their, um, their outfits that they wear, their armour. That's the signature sort of look for Mandalorians. I think many people probably thought that was just their unique, um, you know, their unique style or something. But uh, Boba had it and uh, he looked like a funky character, murky and... Uh, didn't say much, a bit like Darth Maul in that way. And that makes him cool uh, to some people's eyes. But then his father had this very similar looking um, armor, but in blue. And if you watch the um, Clone Wars and uh, Rebels, the, the animated Star Wars um, TV series, <clears throat> it delves into the Mandalorians more. I'm not too familiar with them, but I did watch um, those episodes in Star Wars Rebels and they seem a bit boring to me if I'm honest. I don't know why all the fans seem to be uh, so excited about the Mandalorians. When I heard this was announced I wasn't that excited it, because it was Mandalorians and they didn't, don't really interest me much unless it's Boba. So, or Django. Um, but anyway, this is a really cool shot, by the way. I haven't pressed play on the video yet, but it's on zero zero, and we see these stormtrooper helmets in the sand. It looks very well shot. Anyway, after the stories of Django and Boba Fett, another warrior emerges in the Star Wars universe. Uh, warrior! I mean, Boba Fett wasn't a warrior, was he? He was a bounty hunter, like his father before him. Warrior is not what I would describe them as, unless I'm missing something. Uh, the Mandalorian is set after the fall of the Empire. Why is everything after the fall of the Empire now? Anyway, and before the emergence of the First Order. Boring. We follow the travails of a lone gunfighter in the outer reaches of the galaxy far from the authority of the New Republic. Why does he need to be far from the authority of the New Republic when the New Republic are useless anyway and don't protect anybody from, you know, the First Order who just go around massacring the world, the universe, and no one stops them, so... You might as well just stay next door to the New Republic, they won't do anything. Um, what are your bets that he will be re related to Boba Fett in some way? I don't think he will be, but of course it's something that uh, will uh, undoubtedly cross people's mind. Are they going to make him related to the past Mandalorians we've seen on screen? What's significant about this Mandalorian? What happened to the Mandalorians anyway? They're, um, do they have a whole... Yes, they do have a whole planet to themselves, don't they? Um, what happened to them? I, 
Oh, maybe Sabine. Was it Sabine who's a Mandalorian from Star Wars Rebels? Maybe she'll make an appearance. Maybe this is her. Except I know I think it's a man. But anyway, I'm talking quite a lot. We follow the travails of a lone gunfighter. Oh wait, I read that. Okay, let's get into it now. Five minutes in already, wow. <clears throat> Three, it's not a long um, trailer, only one minute 35, so a sneak peek, I suppose. Three, two, one, go. Like I said, a really nice opening here. There is the guy, I'm guessing. Wow, look what they're doing. Why is this? These are the old Stormtrooper helmets and this is set after their time. Unless they still had them at this time. But the First Order is around. This all looks very cinematic. Reminds me of Rogue One. Sort of greyish. He reminds... Who oh, wait? That's not Lando. He's from Rocky. No wait, that was Lando. I'm confused. Tell me if that was Lando or not. He, he looks younger than Lando. What a fake fan, you're thinking. Ah, oh, shiny. I really like the way he looks. Oh, it's that droid. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. <gasps> Who is that? I look like Batman in that carbonite. The Mandalorian. Original series streaming November 12th. Um, Disney plus Pixar plus Marvel plus Star Wars. Does this mean we won't see any Marvel movies on Sky movies anymore? Or will they still stay on Sky? I don't know. They'll probably stay on Sky, right? I hope. <laughs> um, so I, that's all the properties I'm guessing they're showing on this uh, streaming service. Um, so this looks like an advertisement for the streaming service. This seems like the big pull, getting people in to watch this original series, The Mandalorian. I wonder what, is this the only new series they're making or are they making others right now? In time for the release of the streaming service, November 12th. Or is Mandalorian the only big sort of um, appeal to sign up? It had that uh, droid which we saw from Empire Strikes Back. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but I'm guessing it will be the same one. Uh, you know when Vader has the line of bounty hunters and tells them whichever is the first to get the uh, Han Solo and the Millennium Falcon gets the reward and Boba Fett was in the line. Uh, that always baffled me because we never saw any of the other ones do anything, so there was, it had that lizard guy, Bosk, um, and a couple of others, so I'm guessing it's the same one. I mean, this is the Mandalorian about, uh, I said it's about the bounty hunter, but, um, oh, it is about bounty hunting, but the description doesn't mention bounty hunting. The description mentioned a warrior, but in the trailer, they talk about bounty hunting, so. I don't think it's a coincidence unless that droid is related to the other bounty hunter droid somehow. Um, I, I'm guessing that was a cameo. Didn't look as rusty this time, did he? Um, yes, as I said, it, it looks good the way it's shot. I'm not sure about the story. Maybe he was a warrior who becomes a bounty hunter. That sounds... Um, Maybe he gets sucked into the life of the crime. Um, that maybe that's why it doesn't meant he, that's Maybe that's why it mentions warrior in the description. Let's just watch it again. I'm sure there are many things that I missed. And I'm sure there are many things I won't recognize. This was interesting, the spikes on these helmets. Is this because they're the old helmets? Or what? Or has he killed these people? 
It looks like a proper movie that shot just there. Clearly a lot of uh, money has gone into this. Who is this? Is this Lando? Or am I going crazy? Have they CGI'd his face or what? Or is it someone completely different? Because of course this is, would be a much younger, I'm guessing. Before the First Order, right? Those classic scooters! Mm. Bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Well, you still got the um, the wire, like Boba and who is that? It looks like Davoros in, in that carbonite. Oh, was that the old man? Was that the man who's saying, "Do you agree"? Was that him in the carbonite? So yeah, that's a bit odd. Is the carbonite a thing now? Because one person did it, therefore they always do it now. Mandalorians, they capture people with carbonite. Or I thought that was just a one-off thing that Vader, um, uh, you know, created that situation. I didn't, uh, on that cloud city to capture Luke. But now it seems, oh look, we got carbonite. Uh, Easter egg, I guess. Unless that's just part of Mandalorian culture, but I doubt it. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. Also, he looks cool, his, uh, his armor. We had Django, blue, we had... The blue was nice and clean and fresh, and compared in contrast to the uh, Boba, which was green and dirty and murky. Now we've gone back to, a, you know, a nice shine. Um, gleaming arm, silver armor, and um, it's nice to actually to see that armor again in live action. I will admit that. Um, oh yes, that's what I was going to say. It, it strikes me as odd seeing, you know, I think, I don't remember the name of that bounty hunt, that really stick thin uh, bounty hunt, you know, the droid spinning around in the open. It look, is that Tatooine? I've had enough of the sandy sort of um, places. I mean, it, we've seen so much desert in Star Wars. Can't they come up with something else now? Um, but seeing that droid just out in the open shooting and seeing the Mandalorian just out in the open shooting with that massive gun, it was a cool shot, but when I think of bounty hunters, I think of people doing things sort of in secrecy, you know, trying to keep in the shadows, like assassins basically. They're, they're basically assassins. Oh no, my, my chair. Ah! Oh. Anyway, I, I think of them like assassins. That's what they are. They do things in the shadows as much as they can. And that was odd, just seeing them in broad daylight. Um, you know, all all guns blazing, but maybe he's in he is in warrior mode at that point. So actually, I'm not sure if I will sign up for Disney Plus just for one series. How long is the series? I don't know. How many episodes? I don't know. But I do actually want to watch it. So maybe I will somehow, some way, some day for you to me for sure. Yes, it looks impressive. I just. It's the story that matters, so we'll see what is in store for the land of the living. Wouldn't you? Tell me your thoughts on this. Are you looking forward to it? Um, are you a fan of the new properties that Disney have been producing in the Star Wars universe? Um, I have a trailer, two trailers to watch. Um, the Rise of Skywalker. The first one, I've actually watched the first one, but I've not reacted to it on my camera. And there's the second one released recently, which I've not seen yet. So, look forward to that. Tell me your thoughts, show me your crimes, and remember, remember your destiny and your purpose to me. Farewell, my moonshins. Take care, my moonshins. <laughs>
Thank you.